guys, welcome back. Thank you guys for tuning in to my first video, Vlogcation Part 1. Today, we're going to do Vlogcation Part 2 because you guys seem to like this, and I'm actually enjoying this myself because I'm actually getting out of the desk and I'm actually going around. So, what basically is happening today is I am heading out on a deep sea fishing trip. A uh, little bit of information right now. There will probably not be a lot of recording of me fishing, mostly because a uh, rocking boat, water, and fishing poles in my hand, plus a camera, I don't think it's going to mix well, and I don't really feel like dropping my camera over the side of the boat. So I'm probably not going to record a lot of me fishing, but I will get some excellent shots of us heading out because it will be a beautiful trip it's supposed to be sunny all day so i can't wait to get out on the waters but like i did in the first video i will be answering questions that you guys have asked us on instagram and twitter um please if you guys have not uh sent to us questions please feel free to do that i will leave a link i will leave our links um for our instagram and twitter in the description below so if you guys want to check those out and leave a comment and a little question that you want us to answer in one of these questions, um, in one of these videos, please do so because Clay, I won't be doing Vlogcation Part Three. I will be doing three parts, like I said, but Clay will be doing the third one. I um, sadly am heading out in a couple days, and I will not have time to edit a video and get it out in time. So I asked Clay if he would do some of his vacation stuff because he is actually um, back home, going out and doing things. And he's actually, I think, exploring a nature preserve, I believe, is what it was. So, yeah, look forward to that in um, the next video. So, why, instead of me sitting here talking, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's head out to see kids. Okay guys, now comes one of my favorite parts about this whole video. I'm going to go and answer some of your questions on Instagram, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about the trip. Um, overall, it was the best trip I've ever taken. Uh, I'm not a big fan of boats, honestly. Um, I'm going to say that right now. But that made me um, have so much fun that I actually am willing to go back on a boat and do that completely uh, again, even for a longer time, because we were only out there for five hours. And I know they do like a 12 hour and a 36 hour, so I, I would I would definitely be up for one of them because 
Um, it was just so much fun. But the crew and the captain and all that, they were, they were phenomenal. Um, like I said, like I said in the last video, I will leave links in the description for all the places I go. So I will leave a uh, link in the descri uh, description yeah. um, for you guys if you guys want to check these guys out. Um, their name is, uh, their company's name is uh, Hubbard's Marina. They are awesome. You'll go out on a charter boat and you'll basically just fish for an hour, five hours. It depends on how long you go out. But I think every, almost everyone on the boat caught a fish. And there's about a hundred people on the boat maybe. So there's a lot of fish. And they the crew always helps. So if you have trouble with your line, you're going to have some help from the crew. Um, they're phenomenal. So uh, I would highly recommend you guys go check them out if you guys are big fishermen um, people out there. So, um, yeah. But, again, phenomenal. 100% do it again. And as you probably can see on camera, I did get a little bit of sun. Um, you don't... I didn't really feel it out there, but I got them back, and then my ears and nose were covered, so I kind of looked like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So, <laughs> to skip all that... I'm going to start answering your questions because I think I'm going to answer about six questions today because, um, oh, and before I get started on the questions, if you guys have not submitted a question yet on via Instagram or Twitter, do so because Clay is making a video in a couple of days. He will be exploring a nature preserve in our hometown, not our hometown, but somewhere around our home uh, town, so... Go uh, check out that video when it comes out, probably in a couple days after this one. So, um, I would highly recommend you guys go to our Twitter and Instagram. I will leave a link in the description for those as well, if you guys want to go check those out. Or you can just go to our channel's homepage, and it should be there. Um, yeah, but definitely go leave a question on our Instagram or Twitter, and we will try to answer it in one of these videos, like I'm about to do with um, these questions. So, with no further ado, let's get started. Okay. First question. What is up with... Okay, I'm just going to say this before I get started. What is up with you guys in asking these hard questions as the first questions? Dang. Okay. This question. Do you feel like Niantic is doing a good job in releasing news about Wizards Unite? Um... I guess... It's not, it's not the fastest thing I've seen them, but, like, we asked them for... There was, like, times where, like, they didn't give us information for, I mean, like, months. Like, we were waiting for months just for that one little... Even the clock. We were waiting for the clock to change for months. And then, like, they started releasing the trailers and everything started picking up. And then, like, I think maybe two months ago. I don't know how far it's been. It's all been a blur. Um, but, like, they just unloaded, the like, the information. Like, they, they gave us almost everything they could. Be, I'm guessing they probably got annoyed with us because we were constantly looking at their tweets and saying, Hey... We need information, and they're probably getting annoyed, and they're just like, hey, here's all the stuff you guys need to figure out the game. So, I, I feel like they're doing a decent job with releasing the game. I wish they would, or the game information. I, uh, I wish they would go faster, but at the same time, I'm not going to say anything because again, it's a, I want the game to be good, so I don't want them to rush. Um, and I'm just keep referring back to Pokemon Go when I look at the news. They did a similar thing with Pogo, and I, I'm fine with how they're releasing the news, honestly. So, yeah, that's kind of what I think about Niantic and the news releases. Um, not the fastest, but again, it's better than nothing, so I guess we can be happy there. Um, what is your favorite spell? Well, um, let me think. Mmm... Don't really need to kill anybody, so no. I'd probably say Accio, honestly, um, mostly because I'm not a lazy person. But like, there's those times where it's like I'll be able to, like sit down and like I'll realize my phone's on the table and I'll be like, <sighs> and just take that big sigh and you're just like, then I gotta get it back up, get my phone, sit back down, and do all that stuff. So it'd be really nice to be able to use Accio because I would literally just be able to go like Accio phone <laughs> and get them on that phone. Um, so nicely, and I would love it. So, um, probably Accio would probably be my favorite spell because I would use it so much. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd probably go Accio. So, 
Because when Guardian Leviosa, uh, eh, I don't really need to lift a lot of things, so I'd rather use Accio because I'd use it probably a lot more, honestly. So, yeah. Um, what is your hype level for Wizards Unite today? Um, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably be... Um, Well, let me just show you. Okay, next question. <laughs> um, what features do you feel most needs uh, to be included in Wizards Unite? Um, features that need to be added. Honestly, I'm not real sure about the features that they need to add or not. I, I'm just kind of going with the punches right now. I'm kind of just fooling to seeing what they want to do and all that. But overall, the, the the things I would like to see in the game is I would like to see a balance between rural and, like, urban players because it's always had that struggle. Um, so I would... I want to see a balance, at least. Because with Pogo, it's like... If you live in the, like, in the rural areas it isn't fun um so yeah if you if you don't live near a big city it's it's kind of a, a draw from the game so i want to see that balance so it's like almost everybody can play the game so it's going to be hard honestly because again they the, the game uh niantic encourages people to go out and explore and i love that about this company because honestly i like um AR games for this one reason, because it's not sitting on a couch uh, just staring at a screen. It's walking around, exploring your environment. Yes, you need to do it with caution, because you don't want to walk across the street looking at your phone and get hit by a car. So, like, it's there's a little bit of danger to it, but, again, it's completely different from any other games that you will ever see. Like, you're walking out, you're seeing nature. Um, of course, say, if you weren't getting as close as I was to those alligators, so... Um, I didn't see any pokey stops while I was out there because, um, kind of dangerous. Um, but yeah, that's, I just want to see a more, a more easier way to find things in the, um, rural areas because, um, when I play Pogo, <laughs> I only, I live in like a very small, like, in the middle of nowhere, almost, and like I just have a yard. So basically, to get my eight kilometers, I walked around my yard constantly. And if I got tired and like it was a it was a bad day, I would jump on a like a four wheeler and just drive <laughs> around and around. And I would have the Pokemon Go Plus, which is another feature I want to see. Is I want to see something to take over the Pokemon Go Plus, like a wand maybe kind of like the interactive wands that Universal uses because honestly I would love to you know just sit and like not sit but walk around and just whip out my wand and just you know do one of them symbols because we seen from the pictures that we're gonna have to draw some sort of symbol to cast a spell kind of like um if you ever go yeah like I said to the Universal Orlando um thing um I th uh, Harry, the Harry Potter world I, I know there's a the full name of it but I can't remember it, so I'm just gonna call it Harry Potter world um, oh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. That's the full name. Um, when you go there, like, they'll give you a map, and, like, you can go to these certain places. You can, you know, do a zigzag line, and it'll make a fountain, you know, blast water or something. It's just, that's what I want to see from, like, the Pokemon Go Plus standpoint. Um, I think it'd be really cool for them to add that. But, yeah, I would honestly, <laughs> I would honestly, uh, still deal with the Pokemon Go Plus, but whatever. But again, those are the kind of features I would like to see um, between the interactive wand thing and the balance between rural and urban players, because that those are all things that need to be done. Um, Gameplay-wise, I'm not really sure. I don't really know the full thing about the game yet, so I can't really throw out features completely, but again, we'll see when we get there. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell if you guys want to hear when a new video comes out and you can be the first one to watch it because 
you want to be the first one to watch because then you can go brag about everything and spoil be a, pull a clay and spoil something before you see it because that's what clay does and it's bad and you you really need to stop clay I know you're watching this video you need to stop spoiling spoiling things for me hence why I don't text you for a full day when I see when you see a movie or something because I don't want you to spoil it so um, yes so feel free to like subscribe and all that stuff and I will see you guys not in the next video, but Clay will, so you will see Clay in the next video, like I said. Feel free, again, I will hand a reminder, please leave a question in the links below, and Clay will try to answer it to the best of his ability. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.